Like anything else in life, things tend to flow where there's least resistance. My immediate circle of friends loved hockey. Any free time I had was spent planning how I was going to incorporate hockey to fill that free time. It just enabled me to fit in a little bit better. I remember being worried and concerned about the future, that boy, what am I gonna do if I'm not able to do this? Because the chance of someone making it at a professional level in any sport was pretty slim. In our household, it was very clear what the expectations were. My parents were non-apologetic about the fact that they wanted myself and my sisters to pursue higher education because they didn't have the opportunities that we had. They felt that that was the way to open doors, to give you options, give you choice, and I knew I had to get there somehow. When I decided to commit, I just excelled in science. I did extremely well. Before university, I got a job on the weekend working in the housekeeping department at the Toronto General Hospital. That was incredible because my placement was in the operating room. And I remember walking the hallways and being able to peek through the windows and just get a glimpse of what was happening. One particular room that was always working late was reconstructed, had neck surgery. And the surgeon came out and he would freely just answer questions. And he actually invited me into the theater and had me stand and, and just look over his shoulder. That's when I started to dream. Your potential in whatever you're doing, whether you're playing hockey, whether you're practicing medicine, to a certain extent is determined by the skill of the people around you. I remember when I first got to U of T, how motivated I was just by the people around, the caliber of students that I encountered internationally, that no matter where you're from, you're gonna feel at home. That was pretty powerful. And I put myself in that environment and things just continued to progress. The one piece of advice that I would, would give an incoming student to the University of Toronto is that every opportunity, whether your impression of that encounter is positive or negative, there's a learning point there. To be able to embrace and absorb the learnings from those around you, you know, U of T encourages that. The advantage of U of T is that for any particular problem that you can identify, they have the experience and the breadth of expertise to provide you with those necessary tools that you use forever. My experience in medicine has been extremely positive. Yes, I worked hard to get here, but also the fact that I was able to succeed in getting here is certainly in part due to the University of Toronto. I feel extremely privileged and blessed on so many levels. I think I have the best job really in the world.